it all started now This day's a turning point in my life The day I begin Living my life from the inside out And I am transformed I am transformed Hi everyone! My name is Maria Merkovich, and I'm your host for Family Today. This show is for everyone. It's for parents, grandparents, and young adults. How many of you would like to be empowered by a life coach? So many people in, so, in this life are looking for compassion, for, for direction, for purpose in their lives. Today, I have a life coach. Uh, she will be here in a moment, and she will be addressing this matter. And now, welcome, Stella. Welcome to Family Today. It's a pleasure to have you on. And I also have another guest, Theo Dilton. Welcome. And you were here previous. Thank you for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, now, my first question is, Stella, um, what brought you to this uh, life purpose of coaching others mm -hmm. on empowerment? Well, thank you, Maria, for having me on the show, and I really appreciate your time. Um, so as you mentioned in my bio, I am, have been married for over 30 years. Okay. I'm a mother with two children, two boys who I've raised, uh, and I've been in the corporate environment for over 25 years, uh -huh. 23, 25 years, all in the financial district. But it's interesting because life is not just a perfect path. Mm. Nothing is a straight perfect path. And a few years ago, I started to look for my passion, my purpose. Mm -hmm. So I raised my children. I have a great marriage. Mm -hmm. I have a career in my corporate environment, but I was looking for something more. Mm -hmm. I kept saying, I kept hearing a voice saying, I'm not done yet. There's uh -huh. more. I have to share more with this world. Uh -huh. And sure. through my passion and looking, I discovered empowerment coaching. And with the empowerment coaching, um, it, it helped me to become the person I am today. And I took all the tools and lessons that I've learned through empowerment coaching, uh -huh. and I've applied it to my environment, my everyday corporate environment. Got it. So, so, go ahead. So I would take my tools and I actually brought them into my corporate environment where I helped other women, other people mm -hmm. to empower themselves also. Also. Mm -hmm. So, but you have to be empowered yourself first and complete that in you so you could teach it to others. Absolutely, Maria. Sure. You know, it's always an, it's always an inner work. Uh -huh. So you always have to look at yourself before you can really help to, others to uh -huh. help others. Uh -huh. That's correct. Uh -huh. As a life coach myself, uh -huh. uh, I'm with peak potential. And um, I always feel that I went through many lessons and challenges uh -huh. just so I could prove, yes, that I, I, I could do this and teach others. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And also you. Absolutely. You, yeah. yeah. You, you went uh, through the whole thing. So there's three life coaches here. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. Right? I just wanted to ask you what does, and I think I have an inkling what it is, mm -hmm. uh, SWAT mean? S-W-T? A-T. S-W-A-T. Yes. Simply Women Accredited Training. That's what I thought. And yes. it's just the abbreviations for And it's SWAT. just for women? Uh, it is basically just for women. The yes. school is in Canada, oh. and um, I have visited uh, my empowerment coach specifically. And you know, I traveled to Canada. We did a lot of stuff online, um, but with this process, I have helped other women to really uh, become true to themselves, and that's what my passion uh -huh. is. So what I found in the corporate environment uh -huh. is women weren't showing up true. Mm -hmm. They, you know, with this, uh, as I was watching them. They had to wear a mask. Absolutely. Okay. They wear a mask 
because it really, if you think about it, back in the 70s, 80s, it was mm -hmm. a, a male-dominated industry. Being mm -hmm. an executive, being a, you know, a powerhouse mm -hmm. around the boardroom. And women st are emulating that masculine femininity. Okay. And what I try to, my purpose right now is to have women, not only in corporate, but this applies to... To everyone. Everyone. Okay. It can apply to uh, a housewife, a teacher, uh -huh. a nurse, a realtor, any kind of... Um, corporate invite whatever career path you have and uh -huh. even if you don't have a career path mm -hmm. I'm trying to help women to connect their heart and soul calling to their mind and professional being uh -huh. it's that balance between the feminine energy of the true purpose of who you are uh -huh. and incorporate your education and your your knowingness mm -hmm. yes and yes, that's yes. where the women will really stand out in their powerful energy. So, mm. Theo, what do you think of that? I'm just curious. Uh, the is there a, a spiritual connection to, to Absolutely. your practice? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's always a spiritual connection because there's inner work. And when you do inner work, um, you are really searching for your purpose. Mm -hmm. Um, what I and yourself, and your issues, and your um, whatever it is that you need to work with. Mm -hmm. um, I think you start being aware and awakened when you do this kind of work. Mm -hmm. We could all agree on it, the three of us. Mm -hmm. The three of us are life coaches, I'm going to say that again. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, so, go ahead, excuse me. Go no, ahead. there is a, a spiritual work, an inner work that occurs. Um, mm -hmm because you really have to realize, you have to say to yourself, well, who am I? What's my purpose? Mm -hmm. What was I here to do? To do? Yes, mm -hmm. what is my purpose in this life? How Correct. do I serve the planet? Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, that was always my question as I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And being Croatian, you know, yeah. a lot of mothers didn't answer that mm -hmm. or dads. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess we, I was raised in a different generation where that wasn't answered. For me, it was always a question, even mm -hmm. as a toddler. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I always wanted to know, always, why are we here? Mm -hmm. What are we here to do? And where mm -hmm. do we go after this? You right. know, that, that's still my cur curiosity. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. the, where do we go? <laughs> hey! <laughs> so anyway, so, but this is a wonderful uh, work, and, mm -hmm. uh, and you are just working with women, but you mm -hmm. also work with men, I believe. Correct. I yes. have all men in my life. I have two boys, oh, that's right. my you husband, yes, yes, and... Yes. Uh, so you bring the practice home. Absolutely. <laughs> I bring the practice home. Absolutely. Um, it's very interesting. Before I came here, uh, my one of my sons actually empowered me. So I said, oh, you know, this is my first time on television. Yeah, yeah. And he gave me some, such great words of wisdom. And I said, wow, I, I guess I did a good job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. See, sometimes kids have something to, to tell you that is enlightening. Right. You know, it, you needed to hear that. Right, right, yeah. right. So what is your hope for this work? Well, my hope women? is to, um, so what I, I'd like to bring to women is to really give them the courage to st step into their own power. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? Okay. For the to women step out there? into their own power. Um, what I teach is to uh, just become who you are. Mm -hmm. um, be yourself. Mm -hmm. But you also have to step into your courage mm -hmm. and into your strength. Mm -hmm. And what I teach is to um, make clear decisions with confidence. Because mm -hmm. when you make clear and confident decisions, you empower yourself. Mm -hmm. I help you to um, professionally and uh, speak purpose spiritually, spiritually to, to mm -hmm. grow. I also help to empower and um, I help you to bring positivity into your life. Into your mm. life, yes. 
-hmm. So whatever that means for that uh, particular person. Correct. Because your positivity might not mean positivity to her. Right. So this is a lot of work. This, this is yeah. a lot of work. And I think people have to be kind of ready to come to you right. uh, to empower them. Yeah. Right. And they, and they want to. and want it. Because if right. they don't want it, I don't think you can make progress. Correct. You do have to be open to, uh, well, first it comes with inner work. Yes. You get the clarity and then with inner work. So, so the clarity, clarity comes, comes from, with, go, I'm sorry, uh, yes, questions, no, no, it's okay. questioning uh, your, right. your motives, your, right. your agenda, your right. issues, your mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. uh, you question everything. Right. And, and I think that's when people do come to, to us. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, when they do have questions. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they're happy, they're content. Some people don't want to grow anymore. Right. I, I came across a lot of those mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. It's not my mm -hmm. job to, you know, mm -hmm. to control them. Yeah. Right. Reminds me of the last time I was here and we were talking about condition based living versus living. vision based living. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some people, people outside of their condition. Correct. Yes. And have them see something greater for themselves. Uh -huh. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So some people are, are living um, a condition-based life, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and some people are living the the vision-based life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's only when they do the inner work. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and they're aware and awakened. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so with the vision, I don't, you know, he he spoke on that already. But you know, just to regurgitate that, mm -hmm. uh, with the vision, you you create. You are a co-creator with life. Mm -hmm. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Go ahead, Stella. So so you must be working with that too. Yes. yes. Um, I also teach women to value themselves. Because mm, if that, you that, don't that, value yourself, um, you really can't bring your truth and your purpose no. to other people. Mm. So value yourself. I teach them to um, create boundaries because a lot of women really give so much of themselves. They don't right. know how to create boundaries. Yes. And to be good to themselves, that's mm -hmm. a very hard work. Mm -hmm. uh, I could speak from my experience. Uh, when I did my inner child work, um, we had to go inside our heart, mm -hmm. envision that little girl, the toddler in you, Mm -hmm. and tell her everything is okay, I love you. That was so hard for me. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? But, but, but I did it and I'm doing it still today mm -hmm. because I, I could lose that. Right. So we constantly have to practice what we know that is good for us. That's mm -hmm. Even so as life true. coaches, and we have to be mentored, mm -hmm. yes. right? I Do was you telling you that look, yeah, life coaches you, you, need yes. life coaches. Yep. Yes, yeah, yeah. that's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. Because we could definitely go uh, with uh, with a lot of things in life that, you know, I, I could sometimes, even yesterday when I had uh, this encounter, I go, here I am being codependent, I'm being mm -hmm. too, um, you know, like, like boundaries, mm -hmm. for example. Yesterday when I, we were talking to these people, my husband and I, um, I said, why was I so pleasing to them? Mm -hmm. And why wasn't I minding my own self and my own wellness? Mm -hmm. well-being mm -hmm. and um, I was kind of angry at myself but then I go okay you're only human Maria you, right. you were aware mm -hmm. you, you were aware mm -hmm. it's okay that you heard in a Catholic religion they say you sinned mm -hmm. you know so so that was like the yeah yeah so it's okay now I could forgive myself more right. than before right there's I think so I'm many doing limitations yes um, they are as we uh, I created one as meditation. we grow uh, so, in, in my mind is, when you're born, you're born a, a pure spirit, mm -hmm. a pure heart. Mm -hmm. And as we grow, um, you know, you start covering the light that's within you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, you start dimming yourself. Mm -hmm. You start dimming yourself to conform with everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, you start dimming your inner truth. Uh, because you, someone says, oh, oh, you're not pretty enough, or you're not smart enough. And with all those layers, you really start to dim who you truly are. Mm -hmm. It's not until you uncover and take, peel back those layers of to really say, see yeah. the mm -hmm. true you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
and that, that takes we sparkle, a lot of work. that we are divine beings, right, right. that we also are divine beings. Yeah. But how do you handle people that are not spiritual or choose to be uh, atheist? How, how do you deal with that? I how do you bring them to that awareness? It's or, or you know what? It's, how do you work this with is them? kind of not really like a. Um, even though I call it spirituality, I would say even atheists have some kind of inner belief. Mm -hmm. They believe in themselves, mm -hmm. so that's kind of the platform that yes, you use. Yes, yes, the heart, the right, heart that right. uh, talks the to heart. you. Right, right, it's the heart, it's the heart, it's your soul, it's your calling. And that's the bridge that I would like to connect, especially with executive women and mm -hmm. corporate women, mm -hmm. how to connect that heart and soul calling along with the, your professional life. So then mm -hmm. you become this super empowered woman. Mm -hmm. And a magnet for the good? Absolutely. See, with me, I feel that I am challenged more sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I think it's only a test for me to outgrow or, or to, to face, to face my truth again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know about you guys, do you, do you feel that, that you've been challenged even more, maybe on a different level, dif uh, you know, deeper truths? I think that um, what occurs is as you become more and more aware, mm -hmm. life has a tendency to throw you more and more stuff to yes. be aware of. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. And so in responding, mm -hmm. so where we end up practicing mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. in how we respond. How do I respond mm -hmm. and to yeah. see it mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, then and to it, grow from it, hopefully. Yeah, yeah and it's like this over, always expanding upward spiral. Upwards. Of, mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely, like yes. Ele elevating, elevating, elevating. Elevating, elevating. <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's a progress. Yeah. It's, um, I, I started thinking about the word perfection, and I don't think there really is a perfection. Nobody can really be perfect, uh -huh. but you can always progress to improve yourself to be a better person inside and toward everyone else. Uh-huh. Mm. Absolutely. I, I believe that the inner work doesn't mm -hmm. tell that. That mm -hmm. you do become, if when you become uh, loving to yourself, mm -hmm. you automatically bring it to others. That's right. Kindness, truthfulness. Mm -hmm. um, and that doesn't mean that sometimes you don't lose it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what do you say to that? I mean, the, we're I, human. We are human, yes. yes. We are human beings. Mm -hmm. And um, like I said, the trick is to come back to it and say, okay. I heard right. this is this is uh, not right. who I am anymore, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or it's okay. Mm -hmm. It was it's done. It's, mm -hmm. it's it's okay. I have a question. Sure. So um, I'm sure with clients, what occurs is you discover years and years of programming. Mm, yes. Yeah. You know the that programming. Happened. Yes. You know so. You know, is there a particular method that you follow? Um, is it you know through this through SWAT or through your empowerment coaching model that you have a particular way? There, of there is a, a particular a method mm -hmm. that we do follow. Um, it's almost a, a path of energy levels. It starts with kind of the shame, of course, is the most. The lowest the vibration. The lowest vibration. Like the victimhood vibration. Correct. Mm -hmm. Um, and then up to enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Enlightenment, we all want to be in enlightenment. You know, mm -hmm. we all want to be at that enlightened level. Um, but yes, there is a process, and I, I can't really like speak to it. You know, with a few sentences, it has to. It, <laughs> it's deeper it, than that. It's yeah. a li it's a little bit deeper than just you know talking mm -hmm. about the mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. But what I do love is that I teach for you to become conscious of your mind. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. do it in your everyday practice and then as you catch yourself you can self-correct mm -hmm. so it's that self-correcting every day mm -hmm. where you learn to become better and better mm -hmm. mm -hmm. self-correcting mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's great yeah. so what type of women come to you like when you just started on this journey mm -hmm. and you became a life coach a certified life mm -hmm. coach so what kind of woman did you encounter that came to you? Women and, and men, you said, mm -hmm. right? Right, But right, more women. Right, right. Okay. more women. Okay. Um, so right now, it's mostly all professional women. 
Mm -hmm. who are already, you know, they're empowered, mm -hmm. but either they're feeling stuck or um, they can't make a career decision mm -hmm. or they're feeling disempowered um, wherever they are in their lives at that time. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm really working with mostly professional women yes. right now, um, but I'm open to actually in the office, when I go into the office, I work with everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody would come over to me and say, Stella, walk me off the ledge. <laughs> and I'd say, okay, sit down here. Let's talk about this for a few minutes. Yes, yes. But, um, you know, I, I felt that it, it's an important message to deliver to our women in their 50s, 60s, 70s, and also... Oh, 70s too? Absolutely. Okay. And women who are... 18, 19, going to college, not really knowing who they are. Oh, yeah. Because that's really our next generation, yes. our future. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's an important message to share with to share, everyone. Yes. And empower those students. Mm -hmm. You know, they need to open up. Correct. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So you probably have uh, some suggestion for the audiences out there. You know, what would you like to leave them with? Well, I'd like to leave everyone uh, with a message of um, there's always a way. If you feel like you're stuck or in a disempowered place, there's always someone you can reach out to. Don't mm -hmm. be afraid to reach out to anyone. Mm -hmm. um, this work... When people are stuck, mm -hmm. to reach out to someone. Right. But let's suppose a person is very shy and an mm -hmm. introvert mm -hmm. and is shamed base, let's say. Mm -hmm. How would they do that? I That's think a they, little more difficult. They still have to have the courage to mm -hmm. pick up the phone, make the first contact. Mm -hmm. um, when I think when you feel so frustrated mm -hmm. inward, you actually do do something Some with people. yourself. Some people, yeah. but not everyone. Right. Right. And that's why there is such a, uh, I don't want to say it, but, you know, there's a disruption with, with uh, teenagers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a lot of uh, lives are being uh, destructed. And I'm not going to say any more than that, mm -hmm. but there, there's a lot of negativity about that, mm -hmm. that yeah. com happens mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. people don't have any hope. Yeah, they, it, it could be said they that. They don't act. It could be said that the environment around them. Mm -hmm. Also, is responsible a little bit to mm -hmm. so to bring you know that message to them. I, hey, I would agree out, with that. Reach right. out, mm -hmm. like you know. Right. So if someone in your life mm -hmm. is yes. having an experience mm -hmm. and you're detecting it, it's like mm -hmm. be the person to take that on. Right. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. And we can also teach our young children, our, our young teenagers, to n notice when someone else is having a bad day, or mm -hmm. to notice it so we can encourage them to perhaps take the next steps. Yes, uh, to encourage the people that they live in, the environment, mm -hmm. right. to encourage it. Mm -hmm. But some people don't have the environment that is uh, good. True. Like people that are abused. I, mm -hmm. I, I understand so many people mm -hmm. that were abused in their childhood. They couldn't breathe, they couldn't say anything. Mm -hmm. They couldn't mm -hmm. even question anything. Mm -hmm. So for those people, it's, mm -hmm. it's really hard mm -hmm. to even reach out or because they're afraid. Mm -hmm. they, they could be afraid of parental, uh, you know, guidance and, and, right. and so on. Well, it's that fear. It's that fear that um, keeps you contained. It'll keep you in that container. And not until you really step out of that container will you start to become a little bit more empowered. Mm -hmm. Some people, and we know even in uh, mm -hmm. high schools, they they really um, had hard times, mm -hmm. and, and their parents weren't aware of anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, we they know hide some it. Croatian, they hide it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. absolutely, and everybody's in on it. The whole family's in on it, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody's secretive. Mm -hmm. And if you dare to speak, you're, you're, you're kicked out, or even worse. I, mm -hmm. I don't want to say anything negative, but you know, mm -hmm. I, I know mm -hmm. families that mm -hmm. went through that, even that, mm -hmm. and I think that you could attest to that. Where we, I sad. remember uh, a teenage kid that, you know, mm -hmm. he he. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say it, but mm -hmm. he he did commit suicide. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and, and so, 
the parents were, I mean, normal, you know, the way we saw them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what they projected in the outside world. Mm -hmm. But um, again, the awareness and, and this kind of teaching mm -hmm. is, is needed. Right. But a lot of parents don't believe in it. Mm -hmm. They don't believe in it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they're so into denial, mm -hmm. they're in a cloud, they don't see their own kids, uh, you know. I, I'm talking, I had my own kids, and, and sometimes you have blind spots, mm -hmm. but this is eye-opening. This mm -hmm. is definitely eye-opening. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Everybody should be um, open to the ideas of coaching mm -hmm. and, and being empowered. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, takes, it sometimes takes the outside person to see the blind spot. Yes. Right. To open it up so right. that there is awareness present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. It's, um, you learn to become an observer. Mm -hmm. So when you learn to look at your life from a different perspective, from a higher perspective, you can perhaps see a little bit more, mm. a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Stella, uh, share with the audience uh, like three points. What mm -hmm. would you like to leave mm -hmm. them with? We have about two minutes okay. now. So, so uh, I'd really love to leave the audience with, um, you know, know that we can all be empowered. We all need to help each other, to reach out to each other. Um, Empowerment means that you can really level yourself up to be true to yourself. I think that's the most important message. Mm -hmm. Be true to yourself, be true to your uh, calling, your purpose. Um, step out of your comfort zone yes. like I did today. <laughs> <laughs> and stepping one, out yes. of my comfort zone sure. and, yeah. um, you know, and then just take it one day at a time, and uh, I would like to leave everybody with my website if they would like to. You could you could recite your website. So my website is www.stellamerkovich.com. You can follow me on Roadmap to Greatness, which is my website's name, um, and I also have an Instagram at Roadmap to Greatness. And I have committed myself to 365 days of empowered messages, inspirational messages. So I started May 11th, and hopefully, you and, know, we'll continue. And that. thank you very much. Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Theo. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having And me. thank you, dear viewers, for joining us. Next, we will have a great show for you and your family to enjoy. So for now, goodbye for now. It all started now This day's a turning point in my life The day I begin Living my life from the 